Hi guys. So in this tutorial, we will learn how to create curvature maps. So curvature maps is also known as uh, worn edges maps, or we can say them as the cavity maps. So it's really simple. Uh, so we can see some examples right here on the screen. So these are the some examples of curvature maps. So let's go to the Substance Painter and let's start. Okay guys, so my Substance Painter has been loaded up. I have loaded up a simple model right here to show you how curvature maps actually works. So we will delete this default layer right here, paint layer. Let me delete this. So before I start to create the curvature maps, it is really important that I'm going to bake my mesh. Okay. So from here, I'm going to come down to this tab right here. And in here, you can see I have bake mesh maps. So click on this. Right here, I need to select the uh, channels which I need to bake. So from here, I don't need the normal and ID, but I need to click on the height and bed normals. Okay. So I need to click all these things. So just follow this. And from here, you can see that we have selected a 2K resolution output. So this depends on your system. So if you have a really good high end system, you can go to 4K. But for me, 2K is really fine. So let me just bake selected textures. So it will take a while depending on your system again, and it will bake the maps. Okay, so the maps have been baked. So let me go back to the painting. mode. So as you can see that all our maps have been uh, successfully baked right here. Okay, from here onwards, it is really simple. We are going to come to this tab. So this is known as smart mask. So let me click on this. So you can see that we have a variety of smart mask right here. So if you hover the icon upon this, you can see that depending on this icon, you will get the desired results. Okay. So we can just uh, simply drag and drop this, but we need to have a texture. Okay. So for that, first, I'm going to come to this tab, which is materials. And from here, I'm going to search a material. Uh, for example, I'm going to assign a wood texture. So let me search wood. And from here, I'm just going to uh, drag and drop this wood plane. Okay. We can go ahead and play with this tiling and other parameters. So you can see that we have property fill. We can expand this. And from here, we can play with this tiling. Suppose we need tiling two or three, you can just assign it. Okay. Also, we have other parameters to play, but for now, we will just continue with this. Next thing, we are going to go back to this tab again, which is known as smart mask. We'll click on this. So from here, as I said, you, we can just drag and drop this right to our model. Okay. So let me select anyone. So you can go ahead and select anyone. Suppose we are going to drop this one right here. So let me drop this. So you can see that the effect is taking place. Okay. So from here onwards, we can play with many of these settings. First of all, we can change the color of this curvature. So we can come here and we can just change the color. For example, I will select this eyedropper and I'm going to select like this. And from here, I can drag this color. So it will just give a feel like it is a um, curvature edge. So let me close this. Okay. So you can see that we are getting that effect right here. Not only this, you can come down to this mask right here. And in this mask editor, you can also play with many things. Okay. So let me expand this. So we have global blur, global uh, balance. You can just light this. Uh, slider and just check how it is and if you need those result or not so come down and you can see that we have a image input section and this is very important from here you can see that we have balance contrast and brush pattern okay so this that this texture is nothing but a grunge texture so you can click on this and also write down grunge and you can just select any grunge you like from here but by default, they have given grunge plaster cracked. So uh, depending, the, depending on that, we are getting that uh, crack type of results. Okay. So as I said, you, we can play with the balance right here. So you can increase or decrease the balance right here. 
also you can play with the contrast amount okay and you will be getting the result what you want so suppose we like need to mask out some stuff we don't need our curvature to be on this section or this section anywhere we can do that how we can do that is we can come down to the, our mask and we can right click and select a paint layer and we can change this to multiply okay and if you come down you can see that we are in our white section so if you paint now nothing is going to happen you need to slide this to black or the shortcut key is x so x is going to switch from white to black so if you just paint this you can see that we are able to paint and remove the sections that we don't need and another cool feature about this is you can just select and drop drag and drop more of this and you can get variety of the results for example you can also go ahead and drop more so let me drop another one so let me just select this one and i can drop this so you can see that we are dropping one more so we can change the color again we can just go to eyedropper and just select this and go for white select this color and we can come down to the mask editor again and we can play with the balance you can see that we are getting that effect okay we can increase the contrast decrease, con con decrease the contrast and also we can add another paint layer and we can just paint the areas which we don't don't require so like this we are going to get a, a really nice curvature uh, effect in our model so this was it guys if you really like the video do like and subscribe and let me know if you need more videos on substance painter thank you and i will see you in my next video